last 11 seasons against their first division opponents. Morton have beaten Rangers only once in a Scottish Cup tie, and that was in the final back in 1922. Describing the action at Love Street is Rob McLean. Morton are at full strength apart from defender Paul Fennick, who's playing for Canada in the Gold Cup. Manager Ian McCall was a Rangers player for three years. Goalkeeper Ali Maxwell is an Ibrox old boy too. Here's the lineup: the experience of Andy Millen at the back, Derek Anderson alongside him, John Anderson in midfield, and the far-travelled Paul McDonald up front. This is Ernie, as the Morton fans have labelled him, 18-year-old on-loan striker Robert Earnshaw, born in Zambia, and a hugely exciting prospect. Sadly for Morton, a change of management at Cardiff means he'll head back to Wales on Monday. A Rangers starter for the first time after three subs appearances is Tugai, capped more than 50 times by Turkey. He looks a more than useful addition to the Ibrox squad. Tugai's inclusion, and that of Neil McCann, means Georges Alberts has dropped, he's on the bench. The other absentee is injured skipper Lorenzo Amaruso. And among the subs, in from the wilderness, is Marco Negri. Dick Advocat settles for three defenders in Tony Vidmar, Craig Moore and Arthur Newman. Gordon Jury keeps his place alongside Rod Wallace up front. And with McCann in as well, it's an attacking formation. The referee for Morton against Rangers is Willie Young. And it's a big day for these Morton supporters, reluctantly turning up at Love Street. It's not a favourite place of theirs. They couldn't play at Capilo. Morton had hopes for Hamden. The SFA said Love Street. Morton went to court to try to reverse that decision. They failed, and that's why we're here. It's been a bizarre build-up to this cup tie. And the on-field action will struggle to live up to the pre-match billing. Dick Advocat settling for a seat in the stand today, deserting his normal dugout position He's alongside John Gregg. Two guys spraying passes around. Vidmar. Kinchelskis on the touchline. Pluck tries to early ball from Kinchelskis, laid off by Jury. And a good effort from Ron Wallace. Good build up from Rangers. Great awareness between the players of what was on there. The touch back from Jury and a fierce effort from Wallace, but it brushed the wrong side of the net. Ferguson waiting till Rod Wallace made himself available. Now two guy for Vidmar. Chelskis seems to have developed an appetite for the game in recent times. It's a good move. And very close was Neil McCann to nodding that one into the back of the net for the opening goal. It was good play again from Konchelskis in the wide position. Danger not over here for Morton. It's Konchelskis again. This time the ball in not so troublesome for Ali Maxwell. Ian McCall will be pleased with a very industrious and disciplined performance from his team in the first half, making life very difficult for Rangers. Vidmar to Kanchelskis. He's seen a lot of the ball in the early stages. Back from Wallace to Guy. Judy's layoff. Rob Wallace's touch wasn't quite good enough. It's given away by Pluck. Vidmar has it. McCann's layoff. Two guided well to win it. Rangers toying with Morton at the moment and threatening to break through at any moment. It's a good run from Arthur Newman. As a look at what's on for Rod Wallace. A spectacular effort. Andy Millen made a strong and a brave challenge for the ball as well. He claimed the boot 
bus was illegally high there. Paul McDonald to John Anderson. Now it's Millen. Pluck probing at the Rangers' defence. Well, that was an easy cut-out from Moore. One-two between Kanchelskis and Tugai. There's a chance here for Kanchelskis to create something. Wallace, Kanchelskis again. It's McCann, it's Wallace, it's deflected. Sides is given finally to end that Rangers threat and the Morton goal. This was a dangerous situation for the Greenock side. Barry Ferguson's pass watched all the way by Derek Anderson. Gordon Jury. Andre Kinchelskis for Neil McCann. Time to run well enough at the far post to win the header. But couldn't manage to find the target. Spun away from Ali Maxwell's goal. Barry Ferguson holding off Earnshaw. from Kanchelskis to Tugai. And again from Wallace. Now Vidmar involved. Three players at the edge of the area. Wallace, and Jury and McCann. And no way past Pluck for Kanchelskis. Lofted in beyond jury. In comes Neil McCann. That's the best effort of the first half for Rangers. Tony Vidmar's ball into the box. It was a good late run from McCann. Chested down and struck the shot on the half volley with his right foot. And it was always going to be difficult this one to keep it down. Tony Vidmar's header away. David Murray for Ross Matheson. Paul McDonald, good run. Disappointing cutback after a good sprint down the touchline. Is there to be a sucker punch from Morton, I wonder? In from Matheson. Vidmar's header. And turn to Vidmar's clearance again. That's the half-time whistle. And a disappointing first half at Love Street. Ali Maxwell, the Morton goalkeeper, expected to be a very busy man this afternoon. And the reality of it is, in the first 45 minutes, he hasn't had a save to make. Morton have got themselves heavily behind the ball and made it difficult for Rangers, but it's been an uninspiring performance from the cup holders and they will hear something from their manager I have no doubt in the away dressing room during the half-time interval half-time score at Love Street is Morton nil, Rangers nil